It is the day that you're going to do your work in the midst of your congregation. Because we haven't come for games. But we have gathered so that you might do your work in all ways. So Father, I thank you for the congregation of your people whom have gathered this morning. And I pray for your hand to come and rest and reign. Because we long for you and your power. Because for your servant you have said that, that when I come to you are not looking many words. And the subtle in good words. But I'll be holding the power of God that works in your means. So Father, this morning we don't have to need a lot of words. But we long for you and your power. And this is an arena of your gathering. So reveal your power. And those who hunt and plot the plots. Those who are hunting and put the snares in our midst. Those who are hunting and put snares in our houses. Those who hunt and put snares in our works. Those who pops the incomes of our hands. Father, today we start the fire. Because the thieves and the robbers are not supposed to stay and to torture you people. So Father, do your work this morning. Do your work this morning. Do it alone this morning. In the name of Jesus Christ. And let heaven speak so that we may receive and let the heavens give out the answers and we will receive. Let heaven speak and all our enemies will run away. Let heaven speak and the devourers will run away. Let the heaven speak out and all the weeds will be uprooted because when the heaven speaks and we will say amen for the joy of our salvation will be completed and we see the goods because that's how your great joy of you seeing your children stays in the name of Jesus Christ Father we welcome you now and let's all say amen and let's all say amen so let me ask for one minute you may stand on your feet so that we can pray for one of our brothers whom this morning he was taken to the hospital and I was just given the news this very morning he is the young of Mama Miaga and who is my servant, my fellow servant whom we have been together in the college and just one month ago we are together in the ministry and this morning I've been told that the blood is linked in your brain he's just a young man as you can see and he's the son of God I mean he's the man of God he's the man of God so I want us to talk a short word this morning so straight your hands towards Mama Miaga and then we are going to pray just speak on how you can do it and I'm going to do what I can do Father in the name of Jesus Christ This morning We pop out the, from the hell Together with all the robes of hell Father we pop them out of the brain of our brother And we even pop the blood of our brother He was completely healed just one month ago but they want to shorten his life they want to leave his children in trouble so that your servant may not save you so that 
Baba tunauziba Father we block it Ukazibu ya subuhi ya leo Let it be sealed this morning Jina la Yesu Kristo In the name of Jesus Christ Ewe mwindaji You hunter Unaingia katikati ya wana wa Mungu Who enter in the midst of people of God Na kati yao And still in the midst Tunakupora nafsi ya ndugu yetu We pop from you the soul of God wa ndugu yetu We pop from you the life of our brother wake uwekewe wigo Let his brain be surrounded with the wall Usiguse ubongo wake Let touch not let the blood not touch his brain kichwa chake Let the brain not touch his brain Damu mrija uliopasuka upone And that vessel that is broken mrija upone Let that vessel be healed mrija upone Let that duct be healed Katika jina la Yesu Kristo In the name of Jesus Christ Tuna toa akiwa salama hospitali We take him out safe from the hospital Tuna mrejesha kwa familia yake And we take him back to his family Tuna mrejesha kwa watoto wake We take him back to his children Tuna mrejesha kwa ndugu zake We take him back to his siblings Akaendele na utumishi wake Let him continue with his siblings Akaendele na kazi yake Let him continue with his words Katika jina la Yesu Christo Uzima uingi Let life enters in him. Let life enter in him. And if there are people who have been weak, kwa sababu ya cheo alicho nacho. Because of the positions that he held. Ikiwa kuna walio piga uganga. If there are those who have done the witchcraft. Leo tunapiga tetemeko. Today we strike with thunder. Tunachoma kambi zao. Today we burn their gates. Tunaharibu kazi zao. And we destroy their works. Tunaharibu utendaji wao. We destroy all the works. Na wana akamfungia mtu, akamfungua mtu mishi wake katika jina la Yesu Kristo sema amen sema amen naweza kuketi now you may get seated mambo haya tu ya chukuli kila hisi so we don't take these things simple kwa sababu tunafahamu mbingu zimeagiza because we know that the heavens have commanded na kusema ya kwamba tutaishi kwa mapambamu and say that we will live by fighting na Yesu Kristo akasema and Jesus Christ said sisi tusiache that we should install macho being a ili tusiwe mawindo so that you may not be the target of the gift nitaomba unirekebishie kidogo sauti yangu so gift please rectify my voice na inawezekana shida kwa sababu monitor hizi hazisikiki and maybe it's just because the monitors are not working eh sauti hii sasa itaendelea na ibada ya pili mpaka ya tatu inaweza kawa changamoto the voice will prolong to the second service and third service so that may not be the challenge so please put things in order if possible in the frequencies from the nation hearts please rectify things in order if possible from the kilo hearts from one uh, one thousand five hundred and fifty thousand please put things, things well so that the voice can come up well kujitoa katika mawindo ya mwindaji are taking away yourself from the target of the devil. Waraka wa kwanza wa Petro sula ya tano. The first epistle of John chapter 5. Na ule mstari wa nane bibele nisema. And verse 8 the Bible says. Mwe na kiasi na kukesha. May you have the limit. Wakua mshitaki wenu ibilisi. For you accuse or the certain. Kama simba ngurumae. As a rolling lion. Kuzunguka zunguka kitafuta mtu ameze Roaming around looking for somebody to swallow Mwe na kiasi na kukesha So that you have the limits and overnight Mkae macho And be awake Mwe makini So that be careful Mwe wangalifu And be a watch out Msisinzie sinzie So that you may not sleep Msilege So that you may not be weak Mwe imara But be strong Mwe na uwezo wa kusimamia mambo onyewe And have the ability to stand on things on your own Kusukumwa sukumwa Do not accept to be pushed Mwakikisha kila kito mnakifanya mkijua But make sure that everything that you do Na mwe macho Kwa sababu hamko peke eno kwenye uwanja huu You are not alone in this arena Hamko wenyewe kwenye uwanja huu You are not on your own in this arena Hamko wenyewe kwenye dunia hii You are not alone in this world Kuna wawindaji wanawinda There are the hunters who hunt Basi mwe makini So be careful Musikae mkasinzia Do not sleep Musi uchape sana usingizi wa kiro Do not sleep too much the spiritual sleep Musi uchape sana usingizi wa kiro Do not have too much spiritual sleep Mkawa na spiritual slumber So that mkawa na usingizi wa kiroho Kiasu kwa mba adui yenu 
to the extent that your enemy who stands as a lion who hunts who is just waiting for somebody who is slumbering the one who is not going to be careful and who is going to hunt you looking who is weak in your midst and looking for that one to swallow so that it might oppress the person so that it might afflict that one so have the limits and don't get used to things don't see things like the normal so that you may not see that it's a life of drinking eating but it is life that requires power because it has to have vigilance just like how the watchman stays awake so you also spiritually stay awake stay awake spiritually do not be blind in the spiritual things don't, don't just take things for granted whatever that is happening but you should question yourself why is it happening don't just think that this is the don't just think that this is the normal of the human don't, don't think that it's the normal of the human being you see God says that you should stay awake we know when the lion rolls as he goes around looking for the hunting maybe in the, uh, in the place of the animals he goes and looking for the weak animal whom he knows that he will catch it easily and he's all even looking for the other animals. So he goes to the animal wild beast. So he goes to the wild beast. As the good hunting. Ambayo anawakika kuyakamata na mata. He is assured to catch and have a visa. So he also hunts. He is too much afraid of those with very sharp horns. He is afraid with those who are terrible. And when he knows that he goes to those Basi the ones who are terrible, he will try to invite it to the truth so that he can enter and attack suddenly. So God says just because you know the animals, because because you know the lions and do not fail knowing how they hunt so he says the same applies to your enemies like the lion who is looking for the hunting Psalm 124 verse 6 to verse 7 it says blessed be God who does not deliver us to be the hunting the bible knows that that the children of God can turn to be the target that is why the Bible says the time for slumber does exist Apostle Paul says wake up you are slumbering he says because the night has proceeded so the Bible knows that there are targets and there are those who hunt and the man of God says that our souls are being saved by birds from the snare of the hunter so the hunter who hunts who uses his work in different ways he put his snares of different kinds in the works places, in homes and even in churches so that he can look on how to trap you and he says in that snare of a hunter you see the snare has been broken and we are saved but also the Bible says Jeremiah 5033 it says the Lord of hosts says this the Israelites and the children of Judah they have been afflicted together the Bible says that these are my children 
mimi ni Mungu mwenye nguvu and I'm a powerful and mighty God lakini na stajabu wanangu wanaonewa pamoja but I'm too much surprised that my children all together are afflicted anasema na wote wale wachukua mateka he says and all those who have taken them to come sana. they hold them much wanakataa kuachia and they even denounce to release them wanangangania sana they hold on them wanakataa kuachia and they denounce to release them hawataki wana wa Mungu watoroke they don't want the children of God to escape. Wa Mungu wakae kwa raha. They don't want the children of God to stay with peace. Hawataki watoto wa Mungu wapige hatua. They don't want the children of God to make a stay. Hawataki familia ziwe na amani. They don't want families to have peace. Hawataki majumba yetu yakae na raha. They don't want our homes to stay with joy. Hawataki makanisani tukae kwa raha. They don't want us to stay with joy in churches. Kwa sababu wanawinda just because they're hunting. Na wanakataa kuona tunatoka. And they denounce us having wanataka a breakthrough. Wanataka tu baki tukiwa waomba omba they want us to stay beggars wanataka familia zetu zibakiwe na wajane they want our families to stay with widows wanataka watoto wetu wateseke they want our children to be afflicted hawataki kuachia they don't want to release na hivyo wanangangana sana and so they they hold on kulikuwa na familia moja there was one family ambaba ya baba aliyekuwa na watoto wawili of the father whom had two children ambaye watoto hao walikuwa wamewaandaa kwa ajili ya kuishi mali in whom those children were prepared to inherit kwa sababu alikuwa ni mzee tajiri sana because he was a worthy man kwa sababu mzee alikuwa mcha Mungu and just because the man was fearing God adui akaangalia nani anayekwenda kurithi the enemy looked on who is going to inherit akamwona mtoto mkubwa ni mjinga and he saw the first son was a little lakini akamwona mdogo wake ana akili sana but he saw the young was very clever akaanza kumwinda mtoto mdogo and he started put the target of that kwa sababu alijua ndo anayekwenda kueneza ile neema because he knows that is the one who's going to spread the grace akaanza kumtega mtoto yule and started to put traps on that young child jana yule that young man akaingia ndani ya familia and then he entered into the family baba anazidi kutajirika lakini mtoto anawaza mali ya baba and the father kept growing wealth but the child was thinking of his father baba anazidi kuwa na majumba mtoto anawaza mali ya baba so father kept on increasing houses but the child is thinking of father kutafuta kazi anawaza mali ya baba he doesn't want to look for a job he's thinking of his father's property hataki kujibidiisha anawaza mali ya baba he doesn't want to work hard but he's thinking of his father's property yule ambaye ni mkubwa the one who was old ambaye ni mjika the one who was full yeye ni mstaarabu na mpole he's, he's a civilized one and very meek ameweka uchungu moyoni and he has a safe na amejijua yeye ni punda wa familia and he has know himself that is just a dunk of the family anajenga chuki kwa mdogo wake and so he started building hatred to his Adui brother adui akaipiga familia and then the enemy strike the family baba ajui kwamba familia imegeuka kuwa mawindo the father didn't know that the family has turned to be the target baba ajui kwamba katikati ya watoto wake wawili kuna mapambano the father didn't know that in the midst of his two children who may wind up kama simba ameranda randa amezongea zongea familia but the hunter like a lion has drawn closer to the baba family baba anaendelea na maisha yake kama kawaida so kama siku zote father chote. was progressing with his life as normal baba day siku moja until one day yule mwizi mwindaji that thief the hunter alipomaliza kazi yake when he finished his work kijana mdogo akajitokeza kwa baba yake the young child stood up akamwambia baba yake sina mpango wa kukaa na familia hii and talk to his father and telling him that he has no plan to stay with his family kwenye familia hii i am tired to live with this family na mimi nataka niende nikaanzishe mahali pangu and i want to go and establish my own place baba akajiuliza sana and the father asked himself too much kwa maana anamjua mtoto wake ni mvivu because he knows his son is very lazy ila ana akili sana kichwani but he is too smart ups ana uwezo mkubwa sana kichwani he has a big ability in his baba brain. anatambua mtoto wake mwenye bidii so the father knows that he is ambaye anashinda na wafanyakazi kwenye miradi who is who he normally leaves with the workers in the project anajua ana akili ya kuweza kuongoza he knows that he has the ability to lead lakini kwa sababu hataki kumpoteza mtoto wake mdogo but just because he doesn't want to lose his young son akamwambia mwanangu nataka 
He told, say, son, what do you want me to give you? Toto akasema, sitaki kurithi pamoja na ndugu yangu. And the, and the son said, I don't want to inherit together with my brother. Nikikara hapa yeye ndo atakaye kuwa miliki wa nyumba hii. If I will live here, he's the one going to inherit this house. Baba anajua atakaye ongoza familia ni mdogo. The father knows that the one who's going to leave the family is the young one. Toto anadhani atakaye ongoza familia ni kaka yake. And the child thinks that the one who's going to inherit this house is the brother. Na moyoni anajua kaka kichwani hayuko vizuri sana. And he knows that his father upstairs is not his father. So he told his father that give me my riches nipe so that I can go. Niondoke. Give me my inheritance so that I can go. Nipe sehemu inayo niangukia niondoke. Give me the portion that belongs to me so that I can Akasema go. sitaki kuwa na familia ya kujenga nyumba kando kando na nyumba yako. And he said I don't want to build my house. Sitaki kuwa na nyumba yangu ikitazamana na ya kwako. I don't want to to have my house opposite your house. Nataka nihame nchi ni But I want to shift to abroad. Kumbe mwindaji amemnasa anataka mtoe kwenye himaya ya baba yake. But the hunter has just caught him and he wants to Kumbe take him out of his father. Kumbe mwindaji mtoto anataka mtenge pembeni ya kundi apate kumpiga vizuri. The hunter has just caught him and he wants to put him aside so that he can strike him Kumbe well. Kumbe shetani amekamata akili zake akamtoa pembeni. The devil had already captured his mind and Pamoja na akili zake kwa sababu amenasa kwenye mawindo. So apart from him being smart but cause he was in a trap. Chwani alipotoka kwa baba yake ikaharibika. All the projects that he had in his mind when he went out of his father they all got destroyed. Mipango mizuri aliyokuwa nayo kichwani alipoondoka kwa baba yake yote ikapotea. The good plans that he had in his mind when he went out of his father all Ujuzi those were lost. wote aliyojifunza kwa baba yake alipohama kwa baba yake ujuzi ukaisha. All the skills that he learned from his father when he went out Mali of his father they got lost. All the riches were lost. Shetani akamkandamiza akamfanya awe mtumwa. And the devil oppressed him to become a slave. Biblia inasema kwenye Luka 15 And the Bible says in the book of Luke chapter Inasema akili zake zikarudi upya It says his mind came back Baada ya shetani kumpiga na kumkandamiza chini sana After the devil oppressing him and threatening him Akajiuliza ni nani aliyenitoa kwa baba yangu He asked himself who took me away from my father Nani miradi yangu Who destroyed my projects Nani ambaye anavuruga mipango yangu Who is ruining my plans Akasema nilidhani nimekoma he said i thought that i'm matured lakini kumbe nimejijua siwezi but i've known that i'm not able akasema nitarudi kwa baba yangu and he said i will go back to my father biblia inasema aliporudi baba yake akakimbia kumlaki the bible says when he went back to his father his father was kwa kuwa huyu mwanangu alikuwa amekufa and said because my son was dead japokuwa yuko anatembea hai adui alimuua though he was walking alive but the enemy kiro alikuwa amekufa japo kimwili alikuwa yuko hai spiritually he was dead though physically he was alive kiro alikuwa amedakwa japo kimwili anaonekana anatembea spiritually he was trapped though physically he was walking kiro amekamatwa lakini kimwili anaonekana ni mwanadamu anatembea vizuri. Spiritually he is captured but physically he is walking well. Akasema mwanangu alikuwa amekufa. And he said my son was dead. Sasa amerudishwa. But now he has been restored. Kumbe adui anawinda na kukamata watu. So the enemy catches people. Anakamata huko kwenye familia. And he catches people in the families. Anakamata huko kwenye watoto. He catches people in the children. Anakamata makanisani. And he catches even in churches. Tunawaona ndugu zetu wanatembea lakini kumbe kiroho amekwisha na We see our fellow working but spiritually And we blame why they're not looking for job but the devil has already We laugh on them why they don't have business ability but spiritually they have We are asking them why you're not working but he's Mungu anasema wanangu mwe makini And God says that my children be careful Don't take things for granted when you see bad things are happening. Wana msishie kujifariji tu na kusema ni mpango wa Mungu mnapoona vitu vinaharibika. And don't end up comforting yourself saying that is the plan that was you think so well. Wana msione na kusema tu ni mpango be watch out. Huo mradi unaoanzisha kaa macho. The project that you're starting stay away. Kwa sababu kuna mtegaji hataki ufanikiwe. Because there is the worker who doesn't want you to succeed. Hiyo biashara unaanzisha kaa macho. The business that you're starting please stay away. Kwa sababu kuna wawindaji wanaoitolea meno biashara yako. Because there are hunters who are looking towards your business. Biblia inasema mzee huyu alipotambua. 
The Bible says when this father realized and he said my son has been restored now and he said I have had him while he's still alive Waraka wapili wa Timotheo Second epistle of Timothy Sura ya 3 mstari wa 6 inasema Chapter 3 verse 6 the Bible says Kwa maana katika hao wamo wajingi zao katika nyumba za watu For among them there are those who enter into people's houses Na kuchukua mateka and take the captives wanaingia kwenye jumu nyumba za watu so they enter into people's houses wanaingia kwenye nyumba za ibada they enter into the houses of worship wanaingia kwenye familia za watu they enter into the families of people wanaweka chuki kati ya wawili waliopendana and put the hatred between two who have loved wanaweka hasira kati ya marafiki wawili waliopendana they put anger between two friends who have been loving one wanaweka makundi kati kati ya kanisa la watu waliookoka they put groups in the church of the people who are wanajiingiza kuleta chuki they enter themselves to put the wanajiingiza na kuchukua mateka they enter themselves and take the captives na kuwakandamiza and to oppress them ili wokovu uonekane mgumu so the salvation might be seen to be difficult wokovu uonekane kama si mwema so the salvation to look as if it is not good mithali 6 mstari wa 5 proverbs 6 5 inasema ujiponye kama paa na mkono wa mwindaji it save it says save from the hand of a hunter. Inasema na kama ndege katika mkono wa mtega mitego. Says like a bird from the hand of the one who brought the snare. Biblia inasema. The Bible says. Usipojiponya na mkono wa mwindaji. If you not save yourself from the hand of a hunter. Wewe kama ukikaa tu ukasinzia sinzia ukachukulia poa. If you just stay sleeping and take this for granted. Wewe kama tu kwamba tumekuja kanisani kukaa tu. If you think that we've just come to church to sleep. Wewe kama ukidhani tumekuja kanisani kusalimiana tu if you think that you have come to church to preach one hii ni habari ya kukwambia hatujaja kanisani kuishia kusalimiana this morning i have a news to tell you that you have not come here to preach one another ya kwamba tupo kazini kwa ajili ya kutetea familia zetu this morning i'm telling you that you're in the business ya kwamba to tupo kazini kutetea kazi zetu that you're in the business of defending our works tupo kazini kutetea ndugu zetu that we are in the business to defend Maana our siblings maana tusipokaa imara na kutetea ndugu zetu because if we will not stay strong to defend our siblings. Psalm 137 it says Those who took us captives they wanted us to sing for them. And those who oppressed us they wanted joy. They want us to pop our money and to, to love them. They want, us, they want to steal our health and us to love for them. They want us to steal our health and us to they want to bring chaos in church and then we should Wasababishe love them. Vijana wetu wakimbie, alafu tuwacheke. For them to cause our young people to run away and ask me to love at them. And he says when we love them. Pamoja na kututeka wakalazimisha tufurai na kutabasamu. Apart from putting us captive, they wanted us to be joyous. Lakini asubuhi ya leo nasema maneno haya. But this morning I'm saying these words. Hakuna tabasamu kwa adui ya naeteka katikati yetu. There is no a smile to an enemy who acts for me. Hakuna kwa wabaya wanao winda familia. No laughter for those who are hunting our families. Hakuna kuaburudisha wabaya wanao tafuta ibada zetu. No entertaining for those who are looking for our worship. Hakuna kuafurahisha wanao kaa katika anga na kuharibu maendeleo yetu. No rejoicing for those who stay in the church. Asubuhi jina la Yesu Kristo. This morning in the name of Jesus. Ninasimama kwa kila wawindaji wa kiroho wanaowinda familia zetu. I'm standing against every spirit of hunger. Asubuhi leo kwa jina la Yesu Kristo. This morning in the name of Jesus. Ninasimama kinyume na wanao tengeneza I'm standing against those who create the sacrifices and throw them in the midst of the people. This day in the name of Jesus Christ. I'm saying we are not going to love them it and let them ruin us they want. We are not going to sit down and love them because the Swahili people say if you love the mountain you will harvest the end of the day. In the name of Jesus Christ, we will not have the empty things. In the name of Jesus Christ, we will not have the empty things. In the name of Jesus Christ, we will not have the empty things.
Yesu Kristo hatuna mchekea na nyani. In the name of Jesus we are not going to laugh at the Yesu Kristo. Today in the name of Jesus. Kila aliyejihudhurisha kiroho kinyume na sisi. Whoever who have made us Leo kwa jina la Yesu Kristo apigwe na radi. Today in the name of Jesus he should be struck. Ambaye ameingia katika majumba yetu kinyume nasi. Anyone who have entered our house. Leo apigwe radi. Let him today be struck by Satan. Should him be struck or not? Should him be struck or not? Sauti yako bado haijaniridhisha. Wapigwe wasipigwe. Give a loud voice. Should him be struck or not? Wapigwe wasipigwe. Should them be struck or not? Wanaochezea watoto wetu wapigwe wasipigwe. Those who are playing for children should be struck. Wanaodhulumu mali zetu wapigwe wasipigwe. Those who are popping away our riches. Kwa jina la Yesu Kristo natangaza wapigwe. In the name of Jesus I declare they should be struck. Wapigwe radi kwa jina la Yesu. They should be struck with family they should lose our families they should lose our children they should lose our worship they should lose our servants they should lose our riches Say let them lose let them lose in the name of Jesus Christ and the Bible says Anasema maana walitochukua mateka. He says because they took up captives. Walitaka tuwaimbie. They wanted us to sing for them. Yaani wewe umenivuruga alafu mimi ni kuachie ni kuimbie nyimbo. Confuse me and you want me to sing a song. Nasema wakikuchokoza na wewe kubali kuchokozeka. I'm saying if they offend you then accept them. Wakikugusa na wewe kusika. If they touch you being touched. Wakifungua radio yako wasikie mahubiri na nyimbo unazotoa kutoka katika kambi ya vita. If they switch on the radio. Kwa jina la Yesu Kristo wapigwe kwa jina la Yesu. In the name of Jesus. Wote wanaokuja kwenye ndoto kukuinda usiku wapigwe kwa jina la Yesu. Wote wanaokuja kukutesa na kukandamiza wapigwe kwa jina la Yesu. Sema ninakataa kuwa mnyonge. Say I denounce. Sema ninakataa kukandamizwa. I denounce to be oppressed. Sema ninakataa kuonewa. Say I denounce to be offended. Bado naona kuna wengine kama hawaelewi elewi au no. ndio hao wenyewe wameingizwa ndani ya ndani yetu. Ona vigeregere vichache wewe uliyenyamaza kuna nini? Wewe ambaye hauombi kuna nini? Kuna nini? Au tumekuchokoza asubuhi hii? Sema kwa jina la Yesu Kristo. Toka kwenye madhabahu hii. Come out from this altar. Cheche za moto ziwake asubuhi leo. Let the spark so fire start this morning. Sema toka kwenye madhabahu ya Kanani Christian Worship Center. Say the spark of Kanani Christian Worship Center. Sema cheche za moto zirindime. Say let the spark so fire. Tuache wapumue ama tusiwaache wapumue. Should we leave them breast or not? Tuache wapumzike ama tusiwaache wapumzike. Should we leave them breast or not? Sema kwa jina la Yesu Kristo. Say in the name of Jesus Christ. Wale ambao mnazuia tusipige hatua. You who stop us from no mistake. Wale ambao mnakaa magetini na kuzuia watu wasiingie Kanaani. Those who are waiting at the gate and hearing the people of Yesu Kristo. In the name of Jesus Christ. Sema tunawarushia upepo akisulisuli. Say withdraw a mighty wind. Upepo wa kisulisuli Upepo wa kisulisuli Sema uwazoe ya pogetini Sema uwazoe majumani Uwazoe makazini Wewe unacheka nao Wewe unacheka nao Wewe unacheka nao Unataka kufuna Unataka kufuna mabua Sisi kanani ya tutaki tufuna mabua Raka base Kerebo bobo bobo shata Maana wame haribu familia For they have destroyed our families. Watu ni kwambie maneno machache. So let me tell you some few words. Kuna mambo mengine. You know there are some other things. Unayachukulia poa. You take them for granted. Alafu madhara yake yanakuwa makubwa. And the impact becomes so Miaka much. Miaka kumi iliyopita. 10 years ago. Nilikuwa na biashara. I had a business. Na ile biashara ilikuwa ina uwezo wa kuniingizia kwa siku. And that business can uh, could generate shilingi 3000 mpaka 3000 na nusu. Could generate 300,000 to 300. Sasa kwa sababu ya maswala haya ya ya kusema ya kwamba bwana utanihifadhia utanilindia tu peke yake so just because of these things and say of na chapa usingizi ile biashara siiomei i'm sleeping without praying for that na chapa usingizi ile biashara siiwekei anointing sleeping without putting the anointing siku moja usiku one day at night nikalala nikaota kwamba i was sleeping and i had a dream 
that the one who sold says mbona naona mapengo mapengo katika biashara mali imeenda lakini fedha hakuna i am seeing the gates that the nilipoamka asubuhi and when i woke up in the morning sikuchukua hatua yoyote i didn't take any steps sikufanya chochote i didn't do anything kidogo kidogo ndani ya miezi sita so little by little within six months ile biashara katika kule sehemu ya kwenda Mazimburodi wanaita the business in a place called Mazimburodi ile biashara ikayumba mpaka kupata shilingi 1500 kwa siku that business waved until we na mimi kwa mwezi nilikuwa ninamlipa miaka 10 iliyopita aliyekuwa ananiuzia shilingi 1.5 and i used to pay the shop pamoja na chakula ndani yake maana yake anakula chakula together with food, manake ile laki na nusu anaipata inaingia mfukoni so he received the 150000 ile biashara ikafa haikurudi tena so the business died and baadaye nikagundua kumbe kuna wezi walikuwa wanaiba kwenye ulimwengu wa roho alafu so, mimi nimelala great right on i came to understand that there are people who were stealing from the spiritual land but i was unaweza ukaona kama ni mambo ya kawaida you might see them that they're very normal acha nikupe ushuhuda wa dada yangu na ninajua yupo kwenye ibada hii but let me give you the testimony of my sister and i know she's in this service alinitafuta wiki Leopita. She looked for me just last week. Akasema mchungaji kuna kitu na kiona hakiko sawa. And stay past I see there are some things which are not right. Mimi nina kampuni ya kupika chakula. I do have a company which we do for. Na nadumia kwenye mawizara mbalimbali. And a ministry in serving in different ministries. Lakini nikaota kwamba napika chakula kwa watu nisio wajua. But I had a dream of I cooking for some people. Hiyo ndoto imechurudia mara kadhaa. You see the dream has been coming back Ile several times. nzuri kwangu. And the dream was not good to me. Anasema baada ya hapo biashara ile kaanza kuyumba. And she said after that the business Hapati tena wateja wanaokuja kumwambia bwana atupe tupe tenda ya chakula. She is no longer receiving the clients. Kutoka hapo ikawa ni matatizo na matatizo. And from that moment it was trouble after tenda moja wapo akataka kumdhulumu. When she received the tenda that the one Na kiasi kikubwa sana. And it's such a huge Lakini akasema jambo lililo nishitua. But she said something that shocked me. Nina rafiki wa mume wangu. I have a friend ambaye anajua kwamba mimi nina kampuni ya chakula. Who knows that yani I do have a company. It's a catering company. Lakini amefika Morogoro. But he's just come to Morogoro. chakula. And he wants food. Anahangaika mchini Morogoro mpaka anachoka usiku. And he is going around to Morogoro. Alipokutana na mume wangu akamwambia bwana anahangaika sana kutafuta catering sijapata. So, when he met my husband he said I'm not ama sijapata. But I have been found one. one. Lakini akasema mume wangu akamuuliza akasema rafiki yangu hata wewe ujui mbona unafahamu kwamba sisi tuna kampuni so friend, ya masuala ya catering friend, you don't know that yule chama akasema sijui nini kimetokea i don't know what happened nafahamu kabisa ya kwamba mna kampuni i know that you do have Na a company tena nimeshawahi kushiriki kula chakula chenu and i've ever even lakini akili liama ikapotea siku na wata chembe but my mind shifted i didn't even even have a single kanisani kufanya maombi and i said let's go to church and tukafanya maombi so we prayed zile roho hazikuishia tukumpikisha chakula and those spirits never ended up there lakini kumbe ndani ya mwili walikuwa wameweka na vitu vyao but inside our body they also kanza kutoka vile vitu toka tumboni so those things started coming out from our kanza kutoka toka tumboni they started coming out from our womb nikamwambia kuanzia sasa and i told her from now hilo ni lako wanakwenda kukulipa kwa jina la Yesu. That loan is going to be paid in the name of Jesus. Na waliungana nawe kama ni jirani mshindani wako wa kibiashara tunakwenda kumfilisi biashara yake yeye. If it is your competitor we're going to rob him away. Biblia inasema ya kwamba So the Bible says that ni haki ya watoto wa Mungu it is the right for the children of God kuwarudishia mateso wale wanaowatesa wao. To return back the afflictions to those who afflict you. Nataka nikusikie wewe unasemaje? So I want to hear what you say. Wewe unaona ni sawa wapige biashara zetu? Do you think it's okay for them to strike Wewe unaona ni sawa watu wetu kanisani wakitaka kuinuka warudishwe chini? Do you see it's okay for sasa wakirudishwa chini sadaka ataleta nani? So if they'll be put it down. Ah, I'm not agreeing with that in the name of Jesus. yoyote anayecheza na mshahara wako leo tunacheza na chakwake. I'm saying whoever plays with your yoyote anayecheza na biashara yako leo tunapiga biashara yake. Whoever plays with your business yoyote with yoyote anayecheza na afya yako leo tunakamata afya yake. Whoever plays na with your kwa jina la Yesu Kristo leo tunawarudishia mabaya yao. I say today in the name of Jesus we come back to affliction na amani niambie should they have peace Wawe or not utulivu, ama wasiwe na utulivu should niambie should they have settlement or not wabaki wanatucheka ama na wao walie kwa jina la Yesu 
remain leo tunapeleka maumivu kwa jina la Yesu wale wote wanaowanga usiku tunapeleka mateso kwa leo tunapiga wale wote wanaotuma maradhi wale wote wanaoshambulia katikati yetu tunatandika wale wote wanaoleta hukumu juu yetu tunawachapa sema wachapwe kwa jina la Yesu sema wachapwe kwa jina la Yesu wale wale kuchelewesha wachapwe kwa jina la Yesu I'm saying the name of Jesus. Yes, they have told us that. You know, these are very humble and meek. They are very humble. I just want to give you another example so that you can understand. And this morning I came this morning I'm saying I've been wounded as a wild beast. All those who are tempting me. And say wale wanao jiingiza na kuiba katikati yetu leo nasema tunatuma roho ya kuwafilishi wafilishike wao biashara zao zikwame sisi tuinuke biashara zao zifilishike sisi tuinuke wale wote wanao waza na kupega mitego juu yako wale wote wanao tafuta kazi yako wale wote wanao winda promotion yako nasema wao washuke sisi tupande sema amen kama unaamini Amen if you do believe. Amen yako iwe kama umeshiba vile. Let your amen be full. Ashanda rabo shakara. Reke bosha. Na bosha. Kerele bosha. Na rabo shi. Kerele banda. Sako le bota. Raka masha. Raka masha. Mwambie jirani yako usichukulie poa usichukulie poa. Don't take it for granted. Don't take it. Mwambie jirani yako usichukulie poa. Say neighbor don't take it for granted. Mwambie jirani yako usichukulie poa. Mwaka wa 10 huu unaanzisha mradi mradi unakwama usichukulie poa. Mwaka wa 10 huu unaangaika mambo hayaende usichukulie poa. Mwambie jirani mbona kama sikuelewelewi jirani. Mbona kama umeumia vile jirani. It's like your hearted neighbor. Mwambie jirani yako leo ndio leo. So tell your neighbor say neighbor. Mwambie leo ndio leo. Today is today. Alafu ongeza sauti yako mpaka wasikie sema leo ndio leo. And then loud up your voice and say today is today. Leo Say today is today. Leo wataitambua hii madhabahu kama inatema chache leo. No this out. Hey! The sparks in the name of. Piga kelele kama vile simba sema hey! Make some joyful noise as the lion say hey! hey! Sema kama umekashirika sema hey say like you furious say hey tuache wapumue ama tuendeleze kichapo should we leave them breathing or should we continue with the smoke ama tuendeleze kichapo should we leave them relaxing or we should continue with smite yes the christian has said this is jesus christ is saying mimi nilipanda ngano lakini mbona asubuhi naona magugu but why in the morning i'm seeing the weeds wanafunzi wakasema mbona tulikuwa na watoto wazuri and the disciples say we had good children lakini ghafla unapata taarifa mtoto amevurugikiwa but suddenly you have the news kumbe kuna mwindaji amepanda magugu anawinda watoto wanavuruga but there is the hunter who kumbe amekaa wakati ukiwa umelala sema mwambie jirani yako mwambie jirani yangu say tell your neighbor say my neighbor mwambie jirani yangu say my neighbor kama umenizoea sana leo nimebadilika kidogo kwa sababu mwindaji anawinda mimi sio kondoo peke yake Biblia inasema wewe ni simba wa Yuda pia wewe sio wa kuonewa na kuwindwa kama mawinda wewe ni simba wa Yuda na wewe lazima uwe na wakati unapiga ngurumo zinasikika mwambie jirani yako jirani yangu mwambie jirani yangu mwambie leo katika jina la Yesu leo katika jina la Yesu wale wote ambao wanapiga ngurumo za simba leo na wapigia ngurumo za simba wa yuda ambazo zinaamisha milima na ngome zote za adui zinafunika na kufumua mambo yao zinabomoa na kuharibu kazi zao sema ni naharibu sema ni naharibu kwa jina la yesu kristo in the name of jesus christ give some heavy claps Piga makofi makali sana. Give some heavy claps. 
listen for some few minutes so that you can understand this the Bible says that there are groups of hunters those who hunting in our families and the people of God in the book of John chapter 10 verse 1 so Jesus is saying that you must be familiar with these he says he who does not enter through the gate into the sheep pay entered somewhere else he says that is the robber and the thief 13 if not 12 years ago there was a woman who was here in church so she didn't came in a normal way like the rest of us but she came direct from hell with her plans but when her 40th reaches there was a general who had a revelation Mama Bishop Rioba was ministering that day of uh, the prayers and after prayers she received the revelation and she said it might be possible to to this enemy we have striked him but because we don't see him so he might seem like nothing must be done Jesus. and she said that I have received a revelation I'm saying let her be revealed and say let's start yawning her so that the Lord may reveal her so the children of God started to yawn over her they started yawn like grace as we were yawning as they were yawning on her gafla katikati ya katoka mwana mke moja meva kaniki then suddenly in the, the woman came in and our midst. She had only one slip and then we started asking ourselves in which chair she, she was sitting. Which chair she seated on. And the rest of us, we know we are those people who don't have this. You know we are those when we see someone who must trust you and see what's going on. I know you are too much civilized so you didn't think this as they are. The rest, are. The rest are. of us, we know that we are weak but we are radio Tanzania. We know that we are weak but we are radio Tanzania. When we open up we speak not stop. Say mama continue praying and went out and came found the gate. How have you been seen? Say today you will know what you are You will know why some other chickens so, so we catch her and took her to Tulipo the room. Pale, akasema, jamani, jamani. When we go there, she said, Mimi kazi yangu hapa. I have been doing my work Morogoro, here. Kanisha, in Morogoro but this church she said it is the church that has been given the city of Morogoro she said our battle we are no Sisi, trouble kuona hapa, kuna mifarakano hapa. but we would like to see the kuona hapa, roya uzinzi inatawala hapa. we would like to see the spirit of Morogoro because this city of Morogoro wana, amelipa, kibali, na neema, umiliki, um, this Morogoro. city God has given it the grace in this Akasema, city tati, so and she said the problem is that most of you in churches are not careful she said I'm not even sure if there are those who have seen me twice so she said I used to come to church and they used to desire me but because they didn't have a future I was saved and she said there was a day that Bishop stood there and when he was preaching on Sunday the series he said when he started praying I saw a burning in my mission I said I ran I can 
take him down. She said, but when I went close to him, I didn't know what happened. It's like I met a woman. So I stuck myself and I went back. So I ended up holding his trousers. I'm not sure if there are those who remember that. And she said that thing happened twice. Do you know what she said? She said, but there is that woman. I used to hate that woman. You see, all the time she's with her husband. And she doesn't want to leave her husband. She stays with him. And some other times when her husband preached, she's even praying for him. So who is the husband is going to protect me? I don't pray for my husband. The grace of God is sufficient. And they're going even to press you down. Now listen. Gafra. And then suddenly. Mama Eliza and Mama Mlai say no. When she fell down, we saw something. So please go out. So as they were searching her, in, in he, her holy parts, <laughs> in her, some holy parts. So the time is asking me, where are you going? The time is asking, where, are you, where do you think you're going? So please stand on your feet. <laughs> you don't want. Bishop. Bishop. So these are the ones Bishop who are the church. So Bishop has given five minutes. minutes. Let me wind up. Come on, put your hands together for that. And she said this. When they search her into those holy parts. So you know those holy parts. And they found the baton of the bottle. Wakakuta vizibo vya peni wewe unapata picha gani hapo manake watu wasisome shule isiendeke hapo wakakuta kisoksi cha mtoto mchanga unaelewa manake nini hapo tusiwe na watoto kanisani wakakuta na shilingi 500 ya ile ya zamani ya rangi ya kijani kile ambayo imepotea walipochukua zile akasema kazi yangu nimetembea huko kwenye makanisa mengine huko anasema nikiingia kanisani hutanijua kama mimi Entering the church, you will not know that I am a You will not know that I am a worker. She said, "I have come to the church." But this church is the one that really bothers us. She said, "The church gives us a hard time." Now, say, "Go and put the things into fire." So I remain there alone. When I remained there alone, I said, today, you know, we are taking you back so that you can testify. I'm not a man, you cannot take me back. It's just because of the power of God. But I'm not a normal human being. So when Mama Mlai and Mama Eliza went out, when my eyes did like close, all, all the buttons went off like electricity. That day, I had to repaint because I kicked her. I kicked her. I kicked her. I kicked her. So, so they came and find me fighting with her because she kicked the spirit of the people. So that's what I said today. I said today, 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 I said today,
Na hata tunapokuja makanisani na wale wana wa giza wanajihudhurisha. Nataka sasa usimame kwa miguu yako sasa. I want you to stand on your feet now. Baba kwa mamlaka ya jina la Yesu Kristo. Father, the authority of the name of Jesus Christ. Asubuhi ya leo ninakamata wote ambao wameingia kwenye ndoto za watoto wako. This morning I'm catching all those Wale wote ambao ni roho fatilizi zinaendea kumendea mendea maisha ya watoto wako. All those pursuing spirits which Wale wote ambao wanasababisha machungu na maumivu asubuhi ya leo. All those cause pain. Baba ninaagiza wakamatwe kwa jina la Yesu Kristo. I command that they should be captured in the name of Jesus. Baba ninaomba wote walio kaa katikati yetu wakamatwe sasa. Those who have dwelled in our midst and be captured now. Those who are dealing with the children that should be captured now. Baba tembeza moto katikati ya watoto wako asubuhi hii. Tembeza msako malaika tembeza msako. Nikamatia yote mapepo na majini. Nikamatia washirikina. Nikamatia wachawi na wabaya wote. Wale ambao wanatesha. Kamata 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 kamata. Nikamatia kwa jina la Yesu. Kamata kamata kamata. Kamata kamata kamata. Kamata kamata. Kamata kamata kamata. Kwa jina la Yesu. Ndio hao wanakamatwa. Ndio hao wanashikwa. Ndio hao wanakamatwa. 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 Kwa jina la Yesu wanakamatwa. Kwa jina la Yesu wadaswe. Washikwe. Let them be calm. Come out, take what you need, Jesus. The fire in the name of Jesus. Oba sakara na labode. Rakaboba ushata. Rabo shaka takabos. Rabo se prete pretis. 